Super easy double arrowhead. Hello and welcome. This is Kevin, also known as AWOL. And today I'm going to try to show you how to do a really easy version of a arrowhead. And we're going to double it because that's been kind of a thing going on for a little bit. Um, what makes this one easy, why you don't need a pattern for this, really comes down to right here. I have taken the first color all the way to the right. And now I'm going to slow this down a little bit just to show you. I'm going to take this color here again all the way to the left um so right off the bat we don't have to even think about this it's just going to go all the way to the end all right now what what makes this different right is okay on our previous one um and i don't have it here to actually look at it but on that previous one what we had was um we were coming in as though the pattern had existed prior to the the loop here, it's just a chevron. Right off the bat, it starts with a chevron. Now, it's what comes after that and really kind of helps to add to how easy this whole thing is, right? Um, now, I like to clamp. You can just see that string right there got nice and tight. I just clamp that off to the side so that way I help keep everything nice and even. Now, let's speed this up again, right? So, this next color goes all the way down but bounces back at that last string, at that yellow, right? So both sides have done it. Now we go inwards, and because this is an even number, right? It's six on either side. You end up with this nice little diamond in the center, right? Now, at this point, because we're doing a double, I'm going to concentrate a little bit more energy on the right and not do the left. Now I bring in one more, hence the whole double thing, right? Um, I'm looping my strings like I, I tend to do. Um, I've done this in a million videos. I'm sorry if I'm going kind of breezing over this and this is the first video you've seen of mine. But I do the strings over over our top just to kind of get them in the right sequence and makes it the first smooth start. So here, once again, the blue, dark blue went all the way to the outside. The next blue in comes down, bounces back off that yellow, little diamond. See, there's it's... This is so easy, right? You don't have to think about it. Once that diamond comes in, you don't cross over the diamond, so you can only come in three knots, right? And then this one, at that next blue, goes all the way to the end. The lighter blue does not. Now, here comes the join. Um, it's only going to come in, it doesn't cross over the one that has already bounced back to come through, right? So... <laughs> I, I wish I had a better vocabulary for this. I just simply don't. This light blue will not cross over the one that hasn't done its diamond yet. And then on the inside, you end up with a smaller diamond, right? The light blue now will come down along the, the white, but the, it can't cross over top of it. This one here is a little trickier. Where that light blue just came down, I had to not go over the top of that darker blue because, of course, it's... You know, it's the line for it. Now, if anywhere, there, if there's anywhere you're going to make a mistake, it's probably at that point. You know, you try to bring the line out too far. But as long as you kind of focus on what it is you're doing, yeah, I don't think you're going to have too much trouble with this. Now, I switched over to my other trusty clipboard. Actually, this thing is a cutting board. I just have this really cool, massive clip that I got at, I think this came from um, Tokyo Hands. I don't know. But cool cool clip turns a regular cutting board into a clipboard um and because this thing is a nice little chunk of wood and it has a nice length um i even have like a magnet on that so i can stick like uh, a needle in case i you know worried about having to take out knots so it's perfect for travel um so here again you can see like that yellow had to go all the way across. It doesn't bounce back. It has to go across the other one, comes down. Um, <laughs> and you can see I'm having a little bit of trouble because the way I have this set on the desk, so that way, like my keyboard wasn't showing, <laughs> the board is kind of sliding out 
I kind of wanted to show you how I had this. Now, at this point, there's enough of the bracelets actually made that it's kind of going up and over the clipboard and down the back side of it, which is, again, really great because this way you can keep shifting your bracelet up and, and over um, whereas like a regular clipboard, the kind where like the clip is like mounted on there, um, you really, <laughs> there, you can do it on the sides, but you can't do it right up the middle because there's hardware and stuff in the way. So this kind of clip with just a regular board actually is more beneficial than your classic, um, old clipboard because I can literally do any kind of size on this thing that I want. Um, so here we see like that, that it was kind of like an off-white and now that yellow is going to come all the way to the end it doesn't bounce back you know because it's the one before it has already finished the diamond and you can compare that with the diamond that's in the center right if the diamond in the center is already done you know so um mind you if you want to elongate the pattern you of course you can do that you can go ahead and bounce it back and make it do like doubles and stuff that's kind of fun I should maybe do a bracelet like that um, okay, so this like medium dark blue is going to come in just that, that one time right there and then come back out. And then that light blue will go, go all the way to the outside. This is, again, this, okay, so it's a little bit more than easy perhaps because you have to use all four knots. But when it comes to doing a bracelet that has all four knots, this is probably one of the absolute easiest and it's great because it uses all the colors evenly. So if you're trying to be, you know, sparingly or you're trying to do something really long, maybe a, a guitar strap or a belt or something, it's these kind of patterns that will actually go further because you do use the colors in a more even kind of nature. So again, the, coming back real easy because I didn't cross over that off white right there. Um, now this dark blue, right? That one that comes all the way across it's because when it hits the middle, it's that dark blue to the dark blue. Well, medium dark blue, I guess. Lot, <laughs> a bit of a fade going on with the blues there. So, um, and because all the diamonds are basically like three knots, like, we got one, two, and then this three, third one bounces back. You can kind of get a feel. You can look at it, and you can see where things are. Also, like, okay, so if we look at the left-hand side, the light blue went all the way down to that very dark blue, and then see those two match, right? The dark blue and the dark blue from the other side match. So another easy way if you're you're having trouble figuring out which ones where to, to to turn the thing at that's another easy thing for you to kind of pick up on or notice now um basically once you kind of have the shape down it is just repetitive there's nothing changing in here there's nothing going on you can if you chose you could change it up and make it so that way you know it it diamonds in the center and then goes out the other direction which is a cool look um that's not what i did with this one it's this one i decided i was just going to run it straight across and keep it as simple as possible because it seems that a lot of the stuff i've been doing lately is a little bit more difficult and i kind of want to be able to help the beginners here as well so um Although I, I kind of feel like I kind of have some really cool ideas of some pretty complex things. So, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I'm going to kind of leave it up to my audience to let me know what they would like to see. But I don't know. I, I'm having a hard time deciding. Do I want to help the new people or is there enough other channels for that? And maybe I should just go ahead and stick with some intense stuff like bags and, I don't know, that coffee holder and the uh, hand sanitizer thing because those were fun I, I like doing those as well however I real <laughs> if I am going to do those I'm going to have to wait for my string to get here I have put in an order for string and I'm rather excited about uh, the prospects of what I can make with it when that gets here oh so here I am finally finishing it up so you can see I took 
the the one to the outside and then the following one to the outside um and that's just an easy way of finishing it it doesn't have to end as the pattern would i'm just going to bring it out and call it a day and there it is now when it comes to the braid i always like to start from the high point being in this case it's the light blue but um because I think it kind of it moves the braid in a direction that's kind of advantageous for tying it up later on. So just a, a little note there. And, uh, well, you can see what comes from all of this work. It is cool. I, <laughs> I love it. I think the colors came out pretty amazing. Um, and sadly, I don't think that uh, the video really does it justice. The, the colors really have some pop to it. So um, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this. Hopefully you guys are uh, going to make one for yourself. And um, well, until next time, don't get your strings in a bunch. <laughs>